Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. From Plato to Derrida, this got recommended to me by, and I can't even remember who it may have been, a viewer, appreciate the recommendation, read a lot of philosophy in my time, actually studying for a PhD in Christian philosophy at one time, never completed it. This is third edition from Plato to Derrida, which I've done a lot of study over the years, uh, Plato and, and Derrida. And uh, so often because I just read books and haven't been taught, I'll mispronounce names, you know, like Derrida. I'll be talking to some other little about, you mean Derrida? And I'm like, yeah, that one. Um, so it may be Derrida. So this is a college textbook kind of thing. You can get it really uh, reasonable or used to could anyhow on Amazon this one's in tremendous shape and you know I just enjoy stuff like this now I don't major in it basically what I do is if I go to read a book like this really I try to ask God am I supposed to read a book I mean let's just face it because I've only got so much limited time here on earth so you read the bible almost excuse i've gone years and all i read was the bible and sometimes the lord will let me kind of branch out but okay so would i read a book like this from cover to cover yes i, I have not read this one but you know read books orders of magnitude of this yeah and uh you know you just learn you just and you use it to relate to people you release it use it to uh, relate the gospel to people. Of course, Colossians 2.8 says, be careful with philosophy. People just steal you. That was one of the things that really discouraged me about philosophy. Here I am a PhD student in philosophy. One of the best philosophy teachers I've ever seen in my life. He's phenomenal. And, you know, he drops the bomb that philosophical truth is not absolute truth. Something can be philosophically true going through syllogistic logic and all this and not be absolutely true. And I'm like, I thought philosophy was search for, for truth. He was like, mm, philosophical truth, but not absolute truth. And he said every generation, this is a Christian supposedly, is going to have their own truth. And I'm like, this is not good. Okay, so I'm looking at like Frederick Nietzsche. Reading Nietzsche! which I've not read a lot of Nietzsche. I've read some of Nietzsche. Um, totally shocked at his honesty. And he knew where the death of God would lead. Martin Heidegger sitting here looking at that. A lot of Heidegger in here. Ludwig von Wittgenstein. Yes, I really like Ludwig von Wittgenstein. A.J. Ayer. Look at that. So lots of amazing people in here. So this would be something being in nothingness. I'm looking at Jean-Paul Sartre. I remember him trying to get rid of the Holy Ghost down in his uh, coal bin and all of it. Um, so this is by Forrest E. Baird, Walter Kaufman, third edition, philosophic classics. Classic picture of Plato and Aristotle walking, Plato pointing up to the forms, Aristotle pointing downward to the, uh, the earth, materialism, and uh, I hope I got that right. God bless. Thanks for being here. Just want to make you acquainted with this book. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.